if you don't want to lose life, if you don't want to lose life, Tunubu, all Eastern leaders, if you don't want to lose life, release Nam the Kalo. The same way you release on the Boho, release Nam the Kalo in that way. Onye Zoku have come, come up again. Onye Zoku have come up again, and I have spoken. I have spoken, and this is my word, and this is my powerful message. So, Tunubu and uh, all the whole Eastern leaders. I don't have much to say than to release Nam the Kalo before this month runs up. Before this month we runs up, release Nam the Kalo. The same way you release Sunday, Boho, release Nam the Kalo in that way. I have told you, <laughs> a great fire is coming upon, upon the, the country. A great fire is coming upon Nigeria. A fire that nobody can quench it. I must tell you this. Careful with Ibos. Ibos did not do anything in this society. We only want our freedom. I know Biafra. No please. When you land again, this is me. I don't land again. Many have been talking rubbish. Many have been saying all sorts of things. I know where I am coming from, and I am still traveling again. I know where I have been before. I am still traveling any moment from now. I am still traveling, and my coming back again will, will be on fire. I just went and received this with, with some of the proper the 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 the, 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 the tools. I will only went to receive this with the, some of the tools. We are fully ready. Thank God, everything has been signed to be a France. Thank God, we have got, gotten all we need. <laughs> Nigeria, check when I come around you. So, um, this is a self-acclaimed leader of a known government. So, maybe a leader of a IPOB a military organization. So, he's issuing warning to Tinubu to release Nande Khan. The same way he released Sunday Boh. Actually, it wasn't Tinubu that released Sunday Boh. Sunday Boh, remember, he was arrested in Benin Republic, you know, held hostage there till he was released. What I can say is that Tinubu and some other Yoruba leaders, you know, politicians intervened in his case. So the question now is how many Igbo politicians or leaders, how many of them are intervening for the release of Nandika? Currently, the federal government doesn't have any charge against this guy called Nandika because the court already struck out every charges against him. But the big question, another big question is this, why is the federal government still detaining him? Why are they still keeping him hostage? So there have been, you know, a lot of violence, killings, you know, unrest in the region. Southeast killings here and there, non-government, from enforcing sit at home to killing and attacking people who violate the sit at home order. And this also is coordinated or championed by one guy in Finland called Simon Epa. He's not in Nigeria, but right there, he just sit comfortably in his room. And he'll be issuing sit at home order and this has brought a lot of economic downturn in the eastern region the five states in the southeast and i can tell you that billions of naira have been lost in the region throughout the period of this sit at home few weeks ago enugu state under the current governor of enugu state mr mbahi celebrated the end of sit at home i don't know how effective that will be in any good state but i can tell you in Imo state abia state maybe some parts in anambra state they are still observing the seat at home but the purpose of this video is to issue a warning direct warning to president bola metinubu to release nandekan the guy shouldn't be staying up to now because the court had already struck out all the charges against him but for me him calling president bola metinubu to release he's not the one holding him he's the uh, i mean yes he's not the one holding him but i know he can you know declare that he should be released he can command his three he can just tell them to release him because right now there is no charge against him that is what i'll have to say but let's there are you know reports or rumors of you know President Bolame Tinubu planning to 
meet with some Mibo leaders or something to meet with uh, Mazin and the Kano in Asarok, maybe to have some discussions of something there about. Let's see how effective that's going to be. Okay. Therefore, the Russian Army Commander has spoke well.